All right, this is Iron Will Becker, and I'm back with another story. This is The Race by D. Gruberg. Quit, give up, you're beaten, they shout at me and plead. There's just too much against you now. This time you can't succeed. And as I start to hang my head in front of failure's face, my downward fall is broken by the memory of a race. And hope refills my weakened will as I recall that scene for just the thought of that short race rejuvenates my being. A child race, young boys, young men, how I remember well, excitement sure, but also fear, it wasn't hard to tell. They all lined up, so full of hope, each thought the race to win, each thought to win the race, or tie for first, if not that, at least take second place. And fathers watched from off the sides, and cheering for his son, each cheering for his son, and each boy hoped to show his dad that he would be the one. The whistle blew, and off they went, young hearts and hopes of fire, to win, to be the hero there, was each young boy's desire. And one boy in particular, whose dad was in the crowd, was running near the lead and thought, my dad will be so proud. But as he sped down, as he speeded down the field, across a shallow dip, the little boy who thought to win lost his step and slipped. Trying hard to catch himself, his hands flew out to brace. Amid the laughter of the crowd, he fell flat on his face. So down he fell, and with him hope, he couldn't win it now. Embarrassed, sad, he only wished to disappear somehow. But as he fell, his dad stood up and showed his anxious face which to the boy so clearly said, get up and win the race. He quickly rose, no damage done, behind a bit, that's all, and ran with all his mind and might to make up for his fall. So anxious to restore himself, to catch up and to win, his mind went faster than his legs, and he fell and slipped again. He wished that he had quit before with only one disgrace. I'm hopeless as a runner now, I shouldn't try to race. But in the cra laughing crowd he searched and found his father's face, that steady look that said again, get up and win the race. So up he jumped to try again, 10 yards behind the last. If I'm going to gain these yards, he thought, I've got to move real fast. Exci exerting everything he had, he regained eight or 10, but trying so hard to catch the lead, he slipped and fell again. Defeat, he lay there silently, a tear dropped from his eye. There's no sense running anymore, three strikes, I'm out, why try? The will to rise had disappeared, all hope had fled away. So far behind, so error prone, a loser all the way. I've lost, so what's the use, he thought. I'll live with my disgrace. But then he thought about his dad who soon he'd have to face. Get up, an echo sounded low. Get up and take your place. You are not meant for failure here. Get up and win the race. With borrowed will, get up, it said. You haven't lost at all. For winning is no more than this, to rise each time you fall. So up he rose to run once more, and with a new commit, he resolved that he... that. He resolved that win or lose, at least he wouldn't quit. So far behind the others now, the most he'd ever been, still he gave it all he had and ran as though to win. Three times he'd fallen stumbling, three times he rose again. Too far behind to hope to win, he still ran to the end. They cheered the winning runner as he crossed the line first place. Head high and proud and happy, no falling, no disgrace. But when the fallen youngster crossed the line last place, the crowd gave him the greater cheer for finishing the race. Even though, and even though he came in last with head bowed low and low unproud, you would have thought he'd won the race to listen to the crowd. And to his dad, he sadly said, I didn't do so well. To me you won, his father said. You rose each time you fell. 
And now when things seem dark and hard and difficult to face, the memory of that little boy helps me in my race. For all of life is like that race with ups and downs and all. And all you have to do to win is rise each time you fall. Quit, give up, you're beaten. They still shout in my face. But another voice within me says, get up and win the race. Have a great night or a great day.